Premier into schools and two of the Premier schools in South Africa at Bloggerheads here, 17 to 15. Great college lead. Slight breeze now behind the backs of the Wuer Jongen School players. Wuer Jongen School, Paul Boys High. Van Riena. Good chase up by lock forward there, the Kotsa. Mayberg. Barnard. Oh, he's opened it up here. They could continue in this vein. They should score here. And they, what a wonderful start. Well, the referee, as a referee, will want to consult. It will be a wonderful start for Paul Boys High in the second half. And he's awarded the try. Oh, wow. Come out the blocks flying. And that is exactly what's happened here. As Luca Ferreira has got in straight on the half time break, spun through the hands. It was another mistake from the restart. Good reading of the play by Barnard. He found his center man in LaRue Milan. And then good work from Enslin feeding Ferreira, who finished wonderfully well in that left hand corner. Oh, this has been a real area of concern for Paul Boys. Abner van Rienen is yet to be successful with a kick at post. And you want to rectify those wrongs by trying to split those uprights. Well, not an easy kick from the touchline, but a wonderful start for Paul Boys. I agree, perhaps a little lax in not securing that kickoff. And Gareth was saying how important kickoffs are in the game of rugby football. That's a better looking now, a bit of a groan from the crowd there as that the game goes wide, so that's four misses out of four. Good catching and passing the skip pass to Luca Ferreira, who's got in for try number four for Paul Boys. Well, we've seen the number five's locks been involved in a try by Gray and a try by uh, Paul Boys. That time it was uh, Adrian. Alberts, who was involved in the move, good chase up here. Oh, now is that careless play? The referee awaits the uh, decision. So it was uh, Luca Ferreira, now, big pardon, Stuart Tate, who uh, came up a little carelessly. And if he's touched him in the air and he's fallen, that's surely a yellow card because it's inconceivable that. May touch somebody in the air. And Stuart Tate can find himself lucky that he's still on the field. Well, he's just clattered into David Creel. David Creel, it was who set up this lineup for Gray College. Okay. That's five five, sir. See that they do have. Uh, Achenbach on the field, he's in the number 17 jersey for the dark blue schoolboys, Pretorius, wrapped up quickly by the Paul defence, Brody, Creel, well taken by Flutua, shown a quick uh, bit of stepping is the left winger, Wakla Flutua, as I say he was able to step into the fly half position last week, for the injured Chris Schroeder. Just throwing the Hail Mary pass back inside. And it's worked out well for Flutur. As Paul Boy is adjudicated to have knocked that one on. Crouch. And you see the right wing of Henk Pretorius. He's Sit. right on the touchline for Gray College. Also, they've got uh, Van Hangen in is in the inside center position doesn't always take up the first center berth well, they've used Rickus Pretorius on numerous occasions to set the target surely Schroeder could potentially go behind his back and open up some space for Van Heineken fine set Brody, great hands by Schroeder, will 
We thought that might happen, Schroeder, but he didn't come. Schroeder actually had to stop there, so he didn't come at pace. Move not working out. Well, it was a good scrum from Paul Boys initially. They got the left shoulder, which made it incredibly difficult for Brody to free up his outside backs, and hence the breakdown of the movement. Get out. Bind. Set. The scrums have been a good contest. Horn for Mayberg. And a solid exit by Paul Boys High. An efficient play by the scrum off. Eric Maybach, of course, he played in the fullback position last week against Weinberg. Good take at the back of the line, unexpectedly there by Gray. Showed up. Abrams. Now they've got to be a little bit careful here, Gray. So strong running too. Up against the uh, front ranker there. Now Paul able to continue the movement. It was uh, John Henry Fincham who got up very gingerly from that collision with the fullback. Now the two players down, one from Paul. Now here goes Van Rienen, desperately looking for support but couldn't find any, so intelligently went on his own. This is good ball here for Milan. The Barnard rather, Wilhelm Barnard. Maber taken on by Alberts. Maybach, there's a big gap rule. Maybach might have taken a big gap there. And so Paul winning the penalty, just turning up the pace a bit. Quickly taken by uh, Fareed. Maybach, Van Rienen, oh, did he get that down? Yes, he did. He did. A little pop pass yeah. and uh, Abner van Rienen was wide awake to it. Good try, a good collective try for Paul Boys High. Well, it's a pivot van Rienen who comes on the Gregan line, being upended by the lock forward in Andre Roo. Good also, have found himself in the bin. But it actually worked out in Van Rienen's favour because as he turned him in the air, it allowed Van Rienen to get in for his five-pointer. Try number five, if you can believe that, for Paul Boys. Well, it's been, Gareth, a seven-minute blitz by Paul Boys. I've left uh, the home side rather uh, shaking their heads in wonder. They're used to turning up the heat. Now, Abner van Rien needs to boot this over and doesn't. Well, it's 10 points in missed kicks and the lead by 25 to 17. Well, it was good reading of the play by Marburg. The flick inside to van Rien and try number five for Paul Boys. Solid play and Paul come again. Gray a little bit lax. Beautiful play by Horn. Was that a late tackle? Cover comes from Schroeder, looking for a, a runner, Schroeder. Finds one, but great defence there by Paul. With great tackle there by LaRue Milan. Now it's a wrestle for the ball. Tempo really had just gone up a notch here at Gray College in Bloemfontein. Huge roar from the... Paul Boy's high stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he's going to come back to this near side touchline for a late charge on the captain, Franco Horn. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, Gray have just Get been me. at sixes and sevens in the second half. They are absolutely being obliterated by this poor boy's side. So let's talk. I've been on the floor. Draining. Penalty five. In case of a penalty, it's a guy right now. It's better off it. And it's been an absolute blitzkrieg by the visitors in the penalty second down, half. And the woes of Gray continue as they've been penalised yet old. again for a late tackle. So Van Rien and dabbing it into touch. Now. Frank Horn clattered into it. David Creel, who was the recipient. Good line-out play as well there. Alberts that time. Look at the ball, the car boys. Ball is terrific. Referee has his arm up for a penalty. They're still there. They're just a meter or two out now. The momentum goes and the try is given. And it's the third try in 10 minutes for car boys high. And look at their supporters. Well, it's a blue and white juggernaut at the moment that is absolutely splitting this grey college to pieces. And it's a captain, Frank Cahorn, who's got in. Another telling more from the visitors working in unison. And it's a talisman and number eight, Frank Cahorn, who's got in for try number six. He's put his side into a 13-point lead with the kick to come. Well, surely he would have considered using another man to kick for goals as Van Rienen has really battled with his kicking off the deck this afternoon. You read my thoughts, Gareth. <laughs> Goes one of his more difficult conversions from that mall. Great college just couldn't stem it, and it was Horn who got in for his try. Well, the big thing now for Great College is that they keep their cool, they've been rocked back by those three tries in 11 minutes, and Powell starting to dominate possession. Taken by Creel. Now with the shoulder away from Van Hanningen. And it's not going the way of uh, Gray at the moment as it's uh, gathered in Milan. Well, Milan has scored, so wow, wow, wow. Look at the old boys and parents and supporters celebrating, and of course, the schoolboys as Gray College make a mistake. And I think it's Leroux Milan got in. And is that another knockout blow from Paul Boys as the pass went to right? Leroux Milan hacked it through. And then he had enough pace to beat Rickus Pretorius, the big inside center. And it's been one way traffic in the second half as the men from Paul have put this grey college side to the sword and if Van Rienen knocks this over it'll be effectively 24 unanswered points in this second half well quite unbelievably grey led by 17 to 15 it's now 39 15 and we've had 13 minutes in the second half hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a replacement coming on for Grey College. And it is their tight prop in John Finchon, who has been replaced by number 18, Luke Janssen from Fieren. Born again. Now they're breaking tackles, Paul Boys High. It's a Grey College side that are a little bit at sixes and sevens at the moment. Maybach took it to ground. Okay, 
work here for Flutur. Well gathered though. You see Flutur a little bit slow too. So Tate took the opportunity. They're really playing now with a lot of confidence and diverve our par boys high. A little dart on the inside there by Ruiz, one of the unsung heroes in the Paul side. Eventually a bit of respite taken forward there by Rue. And Trill, wonderful incursion into the background by Trill. Abrams has him though, full back against full back. With great play by the Gray fullback. Can Gray get back into this game? Good play. Abrams. Oh, he gets it away nicely there to Ferreira. Ferreira making some ground. They just seem to be breaking tackles almost at will. Our uh, Paul Boys High in the last few minutes. But it will be a great college feed to the scrum. Look, look at the body language of Greg College. They look despondent as they've been shocked in the second half. It feels like they're 23 Paul Boys few on the field against him at the moment oh, as Van Furen has come on Luke uh, Janssen Van Furen Skok for Mark is on in the middle of the scrum so a couple of changes made by Grey Cottage you remember they had a tough game last week well I think you said that uh, Paul had put Weinberg to the sword a far uh, less stressful game one talks about the ratings Fine. of the schools, of course, Set. it is a, a theoretical situation because not every school plays, or, or all them. schools don't well play done. against one Angle. another, so they do have a point Angle. system. Yeah, pretty much subjective, those rankings, but as it stands at the moment, it's everybody chasing poor boys. As they are most certainly putting Greg College to the sword. But how will the home side respond? And if they are to get back into this game, they need a try within the next two or so minutes. They to need a try from this move. Doesn't come their way. Celia trying to make some ground. Comes to Brody. Now for Fincham. Six. Quickly taken by Brody. Showed up. Pretorius. Oh, that's good tackling there by Van Rienen. Super tackle on the big centre by the pole. Fly half. Now Gray. Just uh, metres away. Brody for uh, Hreilen. Take it out. Step, step, step. Oh, that's a good pass from Brody to Skipper Tjernison. A bullet-like pass from Brody. Now a chance for Van Hain again. Beautifully laid off for Flutur's second try. Just the repast that the home supporters wanted. Does that continue what here at Gray? They've gone very quiet. Well, it's Wachter Flutur who's got in for his brace this afternoon quick ball again it was Brody prominent look at the soft touches coming in from Van Hennigan and Brody the man who started it has managed to get his outside backs going and Brody converts yeah and Gray College have breathed some life back into their challenge brilliant work by Van Hennigan just sucked in tight and an easy finish for the left wing Flatour. Well, the Gray supporters now in full voice trying to get some spirit and life into the Gray side. Knocked on. Paul Boys. Scrum. And again, it's a restart that has gone amiss for the home side. It's been a real Achilles heel for the Gray College team. They just haven't managed to get back into that opposition half once they had scored points. 
And they've handed Paul Boys another opportunity to run at this great college back line. One of the things on attack, the grey loose, uh, the Paul loose forwards, Horn, Roos and Free are having a wonderful afternoon here. A little dart there by Leroux Milan. Van Rienen. Held up by Schroeder, Mayberg. Hard-working Kotze comes flying in, Mayberg. Now with the Barnard again, he's had a Release. good game, the hooker. Mayberg still work, working that short side. It went to uh, Horn, the skipper. Also, Roos, uh, very similarly no built. Right. The uh, blindside flanker, Mayberg still working that blindside. Van Rienen putting the grey defence under pressure. Oh. Celia had to do some strong work there. Still coming for Paul. Taken there Go by uh, Alberts. And Evan Russ has been a real standout for me this afternoon. He's got over the game line every time he's carried. His working contact has been sublime. And the big man standing up has had a wonderful afternoon. His dad, interestingly enough, was a discus champion, so that strength runs in the family. So some of the Paul replacements starting to warm up on the sideline. Sit. 70 minutes, and no stoppages to the injury, so it's continuous time. So 13 and a half minutes for Gray to get back into the game. And it's a huge mountain to climb. And just at scrum time on that far side. It's a monumental Gross. tussle between MJ Strauss and the replacement Van Furen continues. Well, a little dab ahead. Oh, that could be, if it's not already, that could be the ball game as Van Rienen scores a superb individual try. It was on the bounce of the ball. It was perfect for the Paul Boys high fly half. Try number eight for Paul Boys. And it's Abner Van Rienen who gets in for his double, taking it to the line. Spotted there was nobody at home. The chip kick into space. The bounce was kind for Van Rienen. And he has now got in for his second of the afternoon and under the uprights, which should make the conversion a mere formality. Easy little pop over the crossbar for the try scorer. Well, who would have said at halftime, 17 to 15, Gray led? Who would have said that 22 minutes later it would be 46-24? That's secure there by Alberts. Everybody in the second half particularly have done their job. Pressure for Flatour. He needs to keep his eyes on the ball. Does well. He's got good feet too. Nice little dab ahead, but beautifully covered there by Horn. And the dummy. Now the charge. David Creel makes the tackle. Mayberg, Van Rienen. He will swirl away. You see Hansen and Milan. Fuller running in the centres as well. Little dab by Mayberg is good. Fritua has to run back. That's not bad play by the... Paul scrum half just keeping Gray going backwards. Well, charging up there was Defun Enslin reading the play. But <laughs> everything that people sort of haywire at the moment. You see how Enslin read the play perfectly. Yeah, it was a woeful quick throwing from Flutua. Got collared for his troubles, but the referee's whistle had gone before that. 
Good line out ball there by Tiernison. Van Hangening, now Creel. Well, Creel tried to re secure the ball, but I can only reckon that the only way for them to key to gain some pride out of this game is to keep the ball in hand. Mayberg. Charge forward there by Ivan Rus. Good hands from Horan now by uh, Barnard. Look at those forwards handling with the plum. That's a no open play now. Brody flipped to it. Just trying to pick up Gareth, who made that tackle on Flutur. <laughs> With Stuart Tate, who got back, Maybach's kick his charge down. Now Tate in action again. Really was a superb tackle on Wycliffe Flutur. What brilliant cross covering. Defensive work by Stuart Tate, and look at the tackles made. Well, the tackles missed 12 from Great College, and those 12 that they have missed have really cost them in this final throwdown. Oh. Wonderful play by the right winger, Stuart Tate. He's had little to do on attack, but he's been defensively very sound. Well, we have a man down now. It may even be when I see David Creel out there. It is uh, Rickers Pretorius, the South Get African off. school centre. But he hasn't had an awful lot of the ball in the second half. It's been all Paul Boys high. Just one score for Gray against the one, two, three, four tries of Paul Boys. Now, here come Gray. What have they got to offer? Schroeder for Creel. Super defense by Paul. Schroeder again. Flutur getting involved. Sevier very nearly over in the corner, but it's a Paul boys high scrum as the sun shines on Paul boys high here at Gray College. And it's another telling tackle from Thakir Abrams. Yeah. Hank Salias decided to go route one. Good low, thunderous tackle from the diminutive fullback. He's kept great college at pay. Couch. Bind. Sit. Give him a score to the work, as it Yeah, arm and Gray trying to apply the pressure and do very well. Get a heel against the head. Schroeder. Brody. Pretorius. Just possibly trying to force a gap where there is none from Hannon and looks like he, the ball player in that. Mid centre, midfield back division. Strong work too by uh, the Paul Boys uh, hooker Wilhelm Barnard, contender for man of the match. Salier trying to wrest the ball away. In hard goes at Marcel Tiernison. Brody, Schroeder. Gain in solid defence. No, and Schroeder has got him for the try. The lanky fly half of Grey College. Well, it's Chris Schroeder who's got him for 
their second try of this second half. And you'll need to whack this over, spend little time on it. And he's done exactly that as Chris Schroeder. And he's brought it back to a 15-point ball game. The show and go from Schroeder. Sides through the gap and he managed to get his outstretched left arm for his seven-pointer. Well, showed has only missed one kick at goal. And we've had uh, from Riemann, who's missed, uh, what have we got, five kicks at goal. Gee whiz, but what a game of rugby. 12 tries in total. An absolute showcase for South African schoolboy rugby. Well Elise. taken there by Arne Nivot. Showed up. Long ball pro Pretorius, but it's all a little bit pedestrian at the moment. Van Hannigan tries to rectify that, but it's met by a strong wall of defence. Now Paul back in the grey 22. Strong work by Ruiz again. Maybur. In fact, it was a replacement. Ruiz was the carrier that time. Making ground just about every time he touches the ball. If they get him for another try, it'll be 50 points against Great College. I can tell you, the purists out there will be running for the annals to find out when last Paul Boys put 50 points on Great College. They've had a red letter day, have the men from Paul, and they find themselves oh, on feet, attack feet. yet again as Cullen van Amava makes his way onto the field for Valella Barnard, who's had a more than workmanlike. Afternoon. Well, he's well, a tremendous ovation from the the numero di Kenos here in Bloemfontein. Score! He touched on Colin van Amava. His dad, Corbus, coached the Stormers. Played 156 provincial games of rugby in South Africa. Great pedigree. Van Rien with the ball on the inside. Gray under the whip piers. They brought on a number of replacements. I see number 22. Is that uh, Carney is on the field? That is the possession is with Paul as we move up to towards the five minute mark. Paul making that exceptional ground, well, carrying it virtually over just short of the try line. Be careful, that get white line fever. Here. Release! Well, it's a penalty against Gray College for hands in. Uh, Lights middle. As we see Kearney coming on for. In. Schroeder. In. Also on the field is Jay or Yeti at the brain. Kind of out of it with the throw, grabbed by Gray, but in a stay on, get on, Eight, 18 back. Poor field position. Oh, it's over. The boot away there was by Kearney. Oh, you would have thought he would have thrown caution to the wind. There, 15 points adrift. He needed to keep ball in hand and have a go to Kearney. Instead, he's conceded possession. Fundamentalva finds his man. But it's grabbed by Gray. Away by Nivo now. Chance on the outside for Van Heinigen. Carney. Delete! With the the Paul, not only has the attack been very efficient in the second half, particularly, but Get their out. defense outstanding. Get out. Get out. Quickly taken by Pretorius. Runs hard, all 100 kilograms of him in the inside center of Gray College. Now it's with the Fincham. Brody was about to feed that, he got snatched away from him. 
by one of the eager forwards. Brody gets now. Creel, Carney. It's, it's all again around again. Those big loose forwards, Ruiz and Horn involved. Carney now a chance for him to run away, but he almost sort of lined Abrams up there and sort of trying to dodge him, ran into him, and immediately the referee reacts to the hooter. And so there is great celebration here amongst the Paul Boys High players. They came here, one might say, as the underdogs. At, uh, it was Gray yeah, College yeah. having the home ground advantage. Yeah. But it was the second half blitzkrieg that really yeah. one, two, three, four tries. And suddenly Van Rienen found his kicking boots. And so there's great joy. They will go back and just uh, reassess the situation. But there we have it, Paul Boys High winning this game 46 to 31.